Hey guys, Ronnie here with Alien Investigations. So today is going to be a pretty quick show. So I got this message recently from one of my friends, Jody Foreman, who also works with me in the offshore industry about a report stating that five workers on an offshore supply boat 80 miles southeast of New Orleans reportedly said that they saw a UFO raise up out of the Gulf of Mexico. And this was close to 7 p.m. on March 21st, just before dusk. Now, if they saw this thing actually rose from the water, then it would actually be called a USO, unidentified submerged object. But since it did also fly into the sky, this report is actually both in this case. So the details state that the craft appeared to be five times the size of their 240 foot vessel in length, which is about 1,200 foot in length, and the craft appeared to be about one fourth of a mile from their vessel in their line of sight. There was a rig behind the craft about a half a mile in which they used to help gauge the size of the craft. Their location was about 80 miles southeast of New Orleans, Louisiana. The craft rose up out of the water, the Gulf of Mexico, about 40 foot, he noticed that no water was dripping from the craft, and within a split second, the craft disappeared at a 30 degree angle into the sky. He stated that the speed of this craft took off appeared to be faster than the speed of light as if he was turning on a light switch in a room. It was also stated that the craft was dark colored, oval in shape, and made no sound whatsoever. The original report comes from NUFORC.org. National UFO Reporting Center. The NUFORC has even highlighted the sighting as being of particular interest among the 246 reports of UFOs received in March alone. And after speaking with the witness by phone, the NUFORC said the report seems legit and has urged more witnesses to come forward. Here's the actual statement from NUFORC, quote, we spoke via telephone with this witness and he seemed to us to be usually sober-minded, NUFORC wrote in a note added to the original report, we suspect that he is a very capable and very reliable witness. He estimates that upward of perhaps 50 people who were aboard nearby vessels may have witnessed the event as well. We would urge those other witnesses to submit reports of what they had witnessed. Now, I put together this little reenactment video to show you what the scene could have possibly looked like. Although I used to own a video production studio a while back, I really don't have the time to go out and film all the footage I need to do a perfect reenactment, so I just used what I could find on hand. So I hope you enjoy it, it's pretty short, but to the point on how it could have taken place. Now, I myself even had a strange encounter while working offshore in the Gulf of Mexico on a rig a few years back. We were waiting to go home that day, and as soon as I walked outside on the deck, I heard a loud soaring sound above, and the handrail and grating started shaking as this thing passed overhead. It was so strange that I documented the time and date in my phone to later see if any reports of aircraft that might have been in that area on that date and time. It was in Eugene Island Block 314 on Thursday on 6 the 18th of 2015 at 325 p.m. Now as this thing passed overhead, I couldn't see anything, just heard a huge roaring sound. It didn't sound like the typical jet airliner sound that you usually hear. It sounded like much bigger and deeper. So it was a different, totally different sound. It was crazy. I was the only one out there. I could hear it flying overhead and it passed by super fast. 
The sound lasted less than a minute and I knew right offhand that this wasn't a jet fighter either because there was no sonic boom that usually takes place when a jet fighter screams by, which also added to the puzzle on what the hell this thing could have been. The famous Aurora maybe? I don't know. I do know that the Aurora was claimed to leave a donut pulse ring on a contrail, but in this case there was no contrails in the sky. And it was very blue, you know, and it was absolutely no clouds in the sky that day in that area. The sky was clear as day, but I couldn't see anything anywhere when this thing flew overhead. And all I heard was the sound. And the crazy thing was it sounded like it was right above my head as it passed over. I mean, it was really close to cause the whole rig to shake like that. Still to this day, I still have no clue what passed over that rig that day. Okay, that's about it for this show, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're not subscribed yet, be sure to hit the subscribe button because there's more great stuff to come. Also, you can find our contact info in the description below, so don't be shy to send us your own personal UFO or alien-related sightings that you would like us to share with others on the show. So again, don't forget to like and share and subscribe on your way out, and make sure to hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we put out new videos. Okay, and remember guys, keep looking to the skies and have your phones and cameras ready because you never know when you'll see something strange or unexplainable. I'll see you right back here every Wednesday with fresh new episodes of Alien Investigations. <laughs>